Hello everybody. Greetings from Bethel, Ohio. This is March 21st, 2022, and it is absolutely beautiful outside. It's going up to 70 Fahrenheit today, and I think spring is really here. It's a bit early, but you know, you never know. We still have all of April and things can change. We certainly have had snow in May before, although that's becoming more and more unusual. But it's a beautiful day, so I thought I'd bring this outside. I have empties of all sorts. You may hear crowing from the roosters next door. You may hear the guinea hens cackling as they walk back and forth in the back. And you might hear some road traffic. It's noontime and people are out and about. We live on a rural road. So I have empties today for you. I have some candles. I have Scentsy and I have some um, Vendor Wax and I have some Kringle. So there's a fair amount, so I may not belabor all of the scent notes, but I'll try and just describe them briefly and, and give you my impression. So enjoy the sunshine. So first of all from Kringle, these are the candles. We have Blackberry Buttercream. This was in the soy formula. Nice and clean burn. This one could have been a little bit stronger. Um, I love the buttercream note in this. It's, it's really smooth and tasty. Uh, it did burn, burn well. I wish it had been a little bit stronger. So that's Blackberry Buttercream. Next up from Chestnut Hill Candle Company, we have Banana Nut Bread. Uh, this is a relatively newer to me candle company and I really like their fragrances. The wax pulls out, this is soy, pulls out very, very fast. My only complaint is that they tend to be a bit sooty. They have larger wicks and uh, they, that's why they pull out so quickly. But the banana nut bread was really authentic and strong. This was about an eight in my home and uh, I will continue to buy from them. I think I need to trim the wicks more uh, short than I did. So that is Chestnut Hill Banana Nut Bread. Next up, oh, this one was a disappointment. The scent is beautiful. This is Goose Creek Banana Butter Cake Pops. So this is just decadent. It's so buttery and candied banana, which I love, and the cake pop note. I love their cake pop line but this one did not burn well for me. It was sooty and it had pu then it went to puny wicks about halfway down. So look what happened. I don't know how well you can see that. But the wicks, oh, I tried cotton balling and it, the, finally two of the wicks just gave up completely and the third one then proceeded to tunnel because it was all on its own. So I was really disappointed in the burn. I would get this Cake Pops line again. I might chop it up next time, but you know, that's an unusual burn for Goose Creek, so I'm not sure what happened here. But the Cake Pops line, they're decadent and, and beautiful, and I will buy them again. <clears throat> next up from Bath & Body Works, this was Mimosa Spearmint Single Wick. Uh, this burned really clean, and I liked the fragrance. It was almost more eucalyptus than it was spearmint to me. It was pleasant and refreshing, but very weak. It was about a three to a four, if I'm being kind. So yeah, I don't think I would buy it again on the basis of the, uh, the scent intensity. But a pleasant scent, that's Mimosa Spearmint. A real standout for me was Universal Oud from Zara. And look at this beautiful mauve vessel. These are single wick, seven ounce, and they're $15.90. Joe Malone fragrances, so for a luxury type of, uh, of line, I think the pricing is pretty good. So this was oud, black pepper, and amber, and it was absolutely mysterious and sultry and beautiful, and I loved every minute of this. This burned really nicely. As you can see, quite a clean burn, and it burned all the way down. I had no problem. I did use an Illumilid at the beginning to get it to pull out. Um, you see a bit of sooting here, but I think that's more from my lighter because it's only in one spot. So I enjoyed this and I will continue to buy from the, uh, from the Zara candles. The website is maddening, so you have to look it up by the fragrance. So just look up Universal Oud under Zara. I would buy that again. This was Salted Cookie Donut from Kringle in the Three Wick Parasoy. And I didn't care for the fragrance. It was strong enough. It was about a seven to an eight. I didn't like the salty note along with the donut and the cookie. To me, that just, it didn't work for me. But some people may love that juxtaposition of the salty and the sweet. Normally I do, but that didn't work for me here. This one, I did have a little issue with puny wicks about halfway down. 
and it started to smell a little sooty, so I didn't burn it all the way out. I, I was pretty much done with this one. But if you like salt and sweet at the same time, um, this would be for you, and that's salted cookie donut from Kringle. And finally, from Kringle subsidiary Country Candle, we had blueberry lemonade. This burned all the way down. I had no trouble with the burn. It just could have been stronger. And I was so sad because I love this fragrance in the wax melts. It's a real authentic, juicy blueberry and then like an old-fashioned lemonade. <laughs> Do you, you hear the, the guinea hens over here? My, my buddies. Anyway, this could have been stronger, but I love the fragrance and I will buy it again in the wax melts. So that's Blueberry Lemonade from Country Candle. Next up, let's go through uh, Scentsy, and I have a fair amount of Scentsy here. I am an independent Scentsy consultant, and I am happy to help you with your orders. Also, we have a $25 join-up special this month, so if you would like to join my team, I would be delighted to have you. Just let me know. First up, we had from the Easter collection, we had lemon drizzle cake. Look at this beautiful label. So this is, um, to me, more of a cleaner lemon. The cake note was very nice. Don't come for me. I know a lot of people love this one, but for me, it was more of a cleaner lemon, so not my favorite. However, paired with the blueberry burst, also from the uh, Easter collection, really nice. So I like those two together, and that's lemon drizzle cake. Nice and strong. The whole Easter collection, really strong. Going today, a pink rhubarb sugar. This is beautiful and sweet and tart at the same time. It is rhubarb, raspberry, and sugar, and it's very tangy and very strong. So loving that one, that's pink rhubarb sugar. Next up, we have the four from the um, Harry Potter collection, and these were all nice and strong, uh, Slytherin being the one that was a little weaker. So um, Hufflepuff, this one is carnival treats, you know, candy apple, uh, caramel. It's, it's quite strong. So if you like the carnival treats type um, scent notes, you will love that one. That's Hufflepuff. Slytherin, this one is um, blackberry and it has some oak moss as well. Uh, I enjoyed this one. This is my favorite. I like that oak moss with the blackberry. It gives it an earthiness. This one could have been a bit stronger. It was about a six to a seven. We have Ravenclaw, and this one is sort of body care-esque. It's um, vanilla, let's see, vanilla, white musk, incense, sandalwood, so kind of a body care type tone. To me, it had vanilla waves, vibes, if you like that one, and that one's Ravenclaw. And again, these were all quite strong. There is one more, and what have I done with it? Here we go. Gryffindor. Now, this is my least favorite of the four. Again, nice and strong. Uh, this is lemon zest, cinnamon leaf, amber, and snowy wood. So you do get a smokiness. To me, this is very leathery smelling, but with a little touch of cinnamon, it wasn't my favorite. So uh, that one is Gryffindor. Also very, very strong. And those are, uh, you can begin on uh, March 24th to put them in your Scentsy Club. There was a bit of a lag um, on their availability for the club. So March 24th, you can start putting them in your club. Now, next up we have the vitamin set. This was the All Is Well collection, and there are five vitamin names. These are sold out on the website, but they are still in the Scentsy Club as individual bars. Today's 30 days past launch, so I'm not sure how much longer they will be in the club um, choices. So if you love these, I would go ahead and jump on that today and put them in your club. They may be there longer, I don't know, but normally it's 30 days past launch, which would be today. All right, so these briefly, and this is a great collection, very interesting fragrances, and they, they all were strong. Uh, this one is Vitamin R Relax, which is bergamot, vanilla, sugar, and amber. Gave me kind of bedtime, sleepy time vibes. Like that one very well. Vitamin M Meditate. This one is sandalwood heavy, so if you are a sandalwood lover, you will love this one. I am not a big sandalwood fan, but it's very pleasant. Um, it's a by that I mean it's well blended and it's nice and strong. Vitamin S Soothe. So this one is a, a fresh, a freshy. So it's driftwood, uh, water lily, and what's the last note? Sea minerals. And to me, the sea minerals were front and center on this one. So it's refreshing, somewhat salty. I wish there had been a little more driftwood. 
that was a noisy car. Um, anyway, this is the freshest of the bunch, and that's Vitamin S Soothe. All of these were, were fine. They're all strong. Um, vitamin U Unwind. This is nice. This is Apple Blossom Cucumber Peel uh, Spa Water. So this one I like because it's a little bit floral, a little bit fresh with the cucumber, and a little bit of apple. So I, I really like this one. That's Vitamin U Unwind. And last and strongest of the bunch is Vitamin I Inhale. So this smells to me a lot like Irish Spring Soap. And it is strong, will blow you out of your house, and it lasts for days. Very refreshing, and that's Vitamin I Inhale. I have a few more scentsy here. We have Apple Teeny Splash. I love this. This is Green Apple Nashi Pear, which is the uh, Asian pear. It's like half apple, half pear, and it's very crisp and very juicy. So that, and then it has simple syrup. So it does have a concentrated sweetness, almost like a caro syrup behind the green apple and the Nashi Pear. I absolutely love it. It's bright and delicious. Nice and strong Apple Teeny Splash. Next we have scent of the month for March, which is Hey Tiger Lily, and this is Tiger Lily and Mandarin. So it's probably a little more floral than it is fruity, but it's nice and juicy with the Mandarin, and I enjoy this very much. Nice and strong, long lasting. This was a great surprise. This is Big Hero 6, Would You Like a Hug? Very fruity. This is strawberry, raspberry, and marshmallow mixed together. And the strawberry and the raspberry together, it's nice and tangy, very fruity, like a compote, and then a, a, some creaminess from the marshmallow. Not heavy marshmallow, so don't think it's, it's going to be as marshmallowy as some of, say, the cereal blends. It's not like that. But it's very sweet and tangy and good. And this one's nice and strong, lasts for a couple days. So that's Big Hero 6, Would You Like a Hug? Here's Blueberry Burst from the Easter Collection, a very juicy, authentic blueberry. I like this one paired with the Lemon Drizzle Cake. And again, look at these pretty labels from the Easter Collection. Clementine Cupcake, which was a new scent for this uh, catalog season. This is Vanilla Cupcake Clementine clementine and lemon sugar. This is gorgeous, a very rich yellow cake and then a juicy clementine. So it's like cutie pie cupcake amped up. Really strong, long lasting. I love every minute of that. Clementine cupcake. And finally my beloved vanilla blackberry. This was a scent of the month sometime last year. I adore this. So to me it's a somewhat perfumey blackberry and then a creamy vanilla. I love every second of this one and happily I still have a few bars. So that one is Vanilla Blackberry. So those are the Scentsy. Now let me, how are we doing on time? I think I'm okay. You know, this phone is merciless and cuts you off at 24 minutes, but we have time. Okay, so from Destination Wax, I have a few here. First up, I nibbled at my loaf of Marshmallow Fireside. This is so beautiful. So about an eight to a nine throw in my home. You have the beautiful billowy marshmallow and then a toasty note from the campfire. It's not like burnt embers, but it's it's mildly smoky and absolutely delicious. So that has been a favorite for a long time. Marshmallow Fireside. Next up we have French Lime Blossom. This was beautiful. Uh, different than I expected. It does not smell like lime. It's the Linden Blossom. So it's quite uh, white floral. It's absolutely beautiful and I guess it's based on a Jo Malone perfume by the same name. Also L'Occitane has one Tioy, which I, I guess is also Linden Blossom. I would like to get the perfume of this because I would like to wear that. It's just lovely. So that was French Lime Blossom. Next up we have Desert Tumbleweed. I've had this before. Uh, Desert Tumbleweed is a mix of mints and then also sage. So it's very different. And I really like it. It's a whole different take on mintiness, and I enjoyed that very much. Nice and strong. And finally, Lavender Sweet Basil from In the Owl. Uh, Rebecca has her owls in all the different lavenders. I love this. You have the basil note, and there's a little bit of patchouli. Absolutely beautiful. Long-lasting. Will always rebuy. Okay, from Catalyst. Oh, I have a couple more Destination Wax here. One more. All right, this one is Apple Blossom, pure and simple and gorgeous. So you do have a lightly floral note with apple, so beautiful, 
so beautiful. How did I not know about this? That's really the first time. You know, I'm going through her whole scent list, right? So this, I'm in the A's. Beautiful apple blossom. Okay, I have a few here from, from um, Catalyst, too, from Catalyst Fragrance Co., which you'll find on Etsy. The owner is Allison. Check this out. These are 9 to 10 strength and throw. Absolutely wonderful blends and some different things. So first we have juniper berry and pine. I love this. You know, juniper can be quite sharp, which I actually like. But here it's with a real mellow pine, and it just, it just calms it down. But you still have that fragrance of the juniper mixed with the pine. And then she also added um, mountain air. Is that what that says? Yes. So it gives it kind of a coolness, almost an iciness on top. This was gorgeous. This is 9 to a 10 strength and throw. Juniper berry and pine. Then we had hot chocolate and let me tell you, so I love chocolate and wax. This is like a cup of cocoa and then toasted marshmallow and the marshmallow is like you just had it in the fire and you brought it out so it's it's a light brown but it's not charred yet. Oh this is so gorgeous. Again 9 to 10 strength and throw. I loved her hot chocolate. Next up in going today in the enclosed porch I have Vintage Road Driftwood which is my favorite driftwood from any vendor. This is so beautiful. So it's described as spicy citrus, green notes, moss, and woody musk. This is so earthy and beautiful and it reminds me a bit of the Fabergé perfume called Wood Hue which I used to wear a long time ago and still love but it's it's not available anymore. So that, that's Driftwood. Love every minute of it. Thank you Sarah for that beautiful blend. And from Empire Alchemy, this was so strong. This is Southern California winter. So I was waiting for these to cure a bit and they have cured. This was plenty strong today, eight to a nine. This is heavy rain, leaves, redwood, and fresh cold air. And I would say the redwoods were front and center. Very woody blend if you like that. This was strong and gorgeous. So thank you, Anna, for that beautiful blend. Okay, next up I have mostly um, small uh, Kringle melts. They're actually the candles that I, the small candles that I use as melts. And um, let me go through these. How are we on time? Yes, we're still good. Okay, first up we have, look at these labels. Even on these tiny, they light. So this is Wisteria from the Kringle line. And this, this is um, one of the spring, summer recent releases. Um, this one is primarily gardenia and jasmine. So to me, it didn't smell like a, a wisteria vine that I have smelled. It's more sweet to me. This one is a bit more um, of a sharp floral. So um, not my favorite, but it was nice and strong, and that's wisteria. Next up, we have dragon fruit lemonade from Kringle. This was delicious. So dragon fruit, it's something like a punch, but it's deeper, like a deep red fruit. And then the lemonade in there was tart. So I really enjoyed that. And that was nice and strong too, dragon fruit lemonade. Cherry tree, look at that beautiful label. This one almost brought tears to my eyes because it is very evocative of real cherry blossoms, which is a gentle white floral. You're not gonna be overpowered by this, but it was, the, the scent intensity was still there despite the fact that it's a light, um, it's not a, a sharp floral by any means. Beautiful, so that's cherry tree. We lived in Japan a long time ago and the cherry blossoms in the spring, everyone stops what they're doing to go appreciate how beautiful they are. This one, Blueberry Cream Pop, to me is misnamed from the country line. It's showing a, cake, a cream pop there, like a frozen dessert. To me, this should be called Honeysuckle Blueberry. It has floral notes in its mid-range, and to me, much more floral than fruity, and certainly more floral than dessert-y. So I would have renamed this Honeysuckle Blueberry. Once I got my mind around that, I enjoyed this. But if you're expecting a creamy pop, it's not. It's, a, it's more of a floral. Honeysuckle Blueberry. Just one of those you gotta, gotta rename it and then your mind settles down. I love this one from Country. This is Pineapple Rita. So like a pineapple margarita. It's a green pineapple, not overly sweet. Has a little cilantro in there, a touch of saltiness. Gorgeous. So I did repurchase this in melt form because I want it everywhere. Beautiful. That's Pineapple Rita. I'm gonna save that one for last because it's my, 
I have one more, which is my two more. The last will be my favorite. So we have Spiral Aloe, second to last. I really enjoyed this. This is very green and fresh. Um, it was a bit on the light side. I wish it had been a bit stronger. I did enjoy it though. That's Spiral Aloe. And I did buy a clam of that in the melts in hopes of amping it up a little bit. And it could be, these are all really new. They may have needed to cure. My favorite and star of the show from Kringle is Marshmallow Morning. So it, I started out with the Daylight 1.5 ounce candle to test it and I have bought three more clams of this. This is absolutely delicious, strong. So this is one of the two new cereal blends and it's my favorite of the two. This one, it's like a puffed cereal, so like Rice Krispies and then just billowy marshmallow. So edible, and you have the, the dry cereal note and then that creamy marshmallow. Oh, it's so good. You must, you must get this one. So that's Marshmallow Morning. So I want to buy the candle of this as well because it's in the tall soy. Absolutely beautiful. Those last forever and I want that scent to last forever. So that was Marshmallow Morning. And finally, I have two here from Up the Creek Scents. Up the Creek, always available stuff on the website. You can pre-order Brittle at any moment. Go check her out. That's Shannon. Okay, smoked vanilla marshmallow pie crust. So good, like marshmallow fireside with pie crust. Delicious, that little addition of the bakery note transformed that, beautiful. I always get a nine to 10 strength and throw from her uh, wax. Peachy tangerine, this was so good. So I love peach, I know a lot of people have trouble with peach, but with that tangerine, tangerine heavy, very juicy. My husband loved this one, so that's peachy tangerine. And that's it. Thank you so much for spending this beautiful spring day with me. Until next time, hug your families. Bye for now.